starting off with number three, we got Skeds VR Playground. Skeds VR Playground is a fun little community game where you get to interact with little people while being a huge head. You can help out people by enlarging yourself and then letting work through their parkour. Recently, he updated the number of users on Roblox counter. So here it is, you just help out people by putting your hands like this and everybody just crosses it. And there you go, we got like 20 people in that one area. Everybody go, 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 go. Probably the most challenging thing in here as a Roblox user would be doing these around the wall jumps, which I don't think so I can pass. And there's just this actually without any VR assistance, you pass this little course. So pros would be you can interact, help out and assist people with their parkour, just hang out, give someone a little hug. Another pro counter would be no lag because I haven't encountered any lag issues so far while playing. The cons about this game is there's not many things to do in here. So yeah, let's jump into number two. For number two, we got VR Sandbox. What? Um, I think we have a technical. Okay, never mind. Everything is just going everywhere. Whoa. So for second place, we got VR Sandbox. I would say this game is really fun if you want to like create your own terrain. I chose this game because there's plenty of features. You can paint, you can paint with anything you want. Well, there's a limit with how much things you can paint, like grass, water, brick, snow, glacier, ice, and air. You could just come up to a place and start drawing. It's a bit of a delay in here. Another pro would be you can scale yourself, create a little marble. There you go. Oh, we can grab people like this. There you go. We can vacuum people, which is like you can play them as dolls. And then when you're done, just launch them. <laughs> Yoink. And there they go. This game is pretty fun if you're like trying to create your own world. It's like close to Minecraft, but just Roblox version. And you can fly like in creative. You place terrain with eyes. I would consider this game a <laughs> bit laggy. So the pros are. You have a lot of options to do paint, scale, replace terrain, vacuum, grab, and marble. You can interact with people as well. And the cons would be people have the ability to draw literally anything. It could be bad or disturbing. And for last and not least, we got draw VR blocks. Personal, this is my most favorite game because I'm an artistic person. I love drawing and this is all what it's about all right so the best part about this game is when you get to just draw on people this guy asks for makeup and here he gets makeup a mustache all right i'll give you a mustache there you go the most handsome man in the world so the pros of this game would be you could draw plenty of things. There's enough variety of colors that you can use and draw. And people will like ask you to draw something and I would love to do that. If you guys can check out, there's a video I made about this specific game where I decorated people and the link will be right here. So the pros of this game would be that you have the ability to draw literally anything you can decorate anyone. Nothing really bad about this game except someone being a small-minded person and drawing something disgusting huh? so if you like drawing and you have a and for some reason you have a vr headset you can come and play vr block and show off your talent 